the downtown entertainment district is in place. It'll transform the area north of I-75 on Woodward into a destination place for sports fans, music lovers, and shoppers. And it's still unknown who will design the arena, when they're going to break ground, what the new name will be. But once the project is completed, the Red Wings will have a new home. But that leaves the Joe Louis Arena empty. So 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell jumped on that and what could become of the Joe. Sources tell me that right now there has been no official decision when it comes to the future of Joe Lewis Arena, but many are asking if it could mean big changes for Cobo Center. It'd be good for Detroit, for real. When Dwayne Harris heard the Red Wings were looking to move out of the Joe to a new arena, he immediately wondered if this arena would someday be a part of Cobo Center. <laughs> Clinton Dunham, who works out on the stairs of the Joe, had the same thought. He says it's just common sense. I just wanted to add some excitement to the city, help bring, revitalize the city. That's all I asked. And keep the stairs, you know. I'm okay, trying to get in shape. Yeah. <laughs> Their thoughts may be in step, you could say, with those who could make decisions. Today, the Detroit Regional Convention Facility Authority met at Cobo Center. Members have not voted or taken an official position on the future of Joe Lewis Arena. But in the past, they have discussed hypothetical situations. What would happen if the Joe were repurposed? And even what would happen if it were to be integrated with Cobo Center? It has been suggested that such a large arena space would be a draw for more conventions. It would definitely bring conventions. The city needed. That's money for the city. Revenue. That's what we need. Revenue. <laughs> Cobo Center is already adding on so that it can better handle the North American International Auto Show and other conventions. And residents say they see Joe Lewis as a great opportunity for Cobo. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. All right. Thank you very much, Kim.